So here's a stat that kind of does not compute. Dwayne Wade's career three-point average is below 30%. It's not very good. And yet, legitimately, an all-time great, a three-time champion, one of the greatest two guards in NBA history. He's been a slashing, driving, scooping, mid-range shooting superstar from the old school. Rachel Nichols sat down with the man this week for a version of his exit interview. I feel it's right to ask you guys to join me for one last dance. One last season. This is it. You talked to Carmelo Anthony, yeah. and that ended up being a very consequential conversation in your whole decision to have yeah. this final year. What did he say that affected you so much? He was like, all right, let's just get down to it. Bro, what you, what you talking about, you're going to retire? Like, he was really like, I heard in his voice, I'm seeing his eyes, like, yo, you cannot retire and not allow us to celebrate you or to celebrate the career you've had. To me, it was kind of an eye opener. Then CP called me and I got the same thing from CP and it was like, okay, all right, this is, let me think about this a little differently. And the nightly jersey exchange, Dwayne Wade and a player who's trying to follow in Wade's footsteps. The jersey swaps have become their own whole separate thing. And originally, I think you were only going to do it with your very good crew of friends, right? Yeah, LeBron, yeah. CP. Yeah, right? it was just for the banana bowl crew. Right. We could have had a little banana patch sewn <laughs> on the jerseys you exchanged. That would have been nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the first time someone else came up to you and was like, hey, let's, let's swap? Game one against Orlando, uh, Vucevic. He came up to me and he was like, hey, let me get your jersey. <laughs> and I was like, uh, okay. So I, all I did is sent him one. We didn't even do the photo. Right. When I got in the locker room, I sent him right. a jersey over. And I think we was playing, you know, maybe say Donovan early. Right. You know, it was like it was like someone we was playing early, and I was like, this is a cool moment. Let me get this moment. Let's do it. Yeah. And then it just started taking on life of its own when people start asking me. Well, I get messages from someone else. I get some DMs. I get some in the game. Hey, let me get that jersey. Right. After. You know. <laughs> and then I had moments where I'm like, yo, let's let's, let's change jerseys after and stuff like that. So it's just been cool. It has been crazy. I want to get all your highlights. So earlier highlights. this season, you had a high, retirement hmm. tour highlights. Your basketball <laughs> highlights. I've Let's got retirement this. tour highlights. Earlier this season, we got the great moments with That's you it. and LeBron. Yeah, that was very dumb. moving. Yep. Donovan Mitchell hands you a rocking chair, yeah. which I thought was charming. Mm -hmm. You played your last game in Madison Square Garden. The crowd went insane for you. MVP chance at the Garden. They cheered for you in Boston, which is something I frankly thought I would never see. Me neither. <laughs> Danny Ainge even presented you with a piece of the parquet floor. What has the actual experience been like of living through all those moments? I mean, the other night in, in the Garden, it was I was on the interview and I looked around and then I looked behind me and I looked to the side. I'm like, everyone is still here. They're chanting like, be way in the Garden. I couldn't have written this book any better. This is a bestseller, and I couldn't have written it about my life. Let's talk about the last game up in Brooklyn. You could yeah. very well be going into that game, and as the minutes tick by, not know if that's your last game or not. I'm not gonna think about that. Okay. Like, and you know, it's like, Kobe has set this unbelievable, impossible bar that people feel that in your last game, you gotta score 60. Like, who does that? Kobe, Kobe. Bryant does that. I was like, I'm going to go out the way d is supposed to go out. Uh, and now Brian Windhorst, of course, <laughs> joining us on the set. All right, Dwayne Wade, best remembered in his NBA career for? I don't know if he'll be best remembered for it, but team building. He was willing to give up a year of his prime to let the Heat build the salary cap space. He recruited LeBron and Chris Bosh in, and he took less money so they could help stock the team with role players. I'm going to go at the 2006 championship when he had 33-year-old Shaq, 35-year-old Alonzo, and 37-year-old Gary Payton. You're ageist. And he completely took over. They were down 0-2 in the series. They won four straight and got MVP. I'll always remember that series. I'm rolling with Wendy, the formation of the oh. big three in Miami. He had already won a championship, but then his friendship with LeBron and kinship with Chris Bosh, though they were all in the same draft, now led to them performing the big three in Miami that really changed what we see as the landscape of the current player and how they're moving around. I'm glad you guys chose the way you did. You chose a little this, you chose a little that. Roll the music. <laughs> here they come, go. Here they come. Here they come, go. Here they come. Here they come. This or that. Here they come. This or that. 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 You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this or you could get with that. You could get with this. Or you can get with that. I think you can get with this. This is kind of fat. You can get with this. Or you can get with that. You can get with this. Or you can get with that. You can get with this. Or you can get with that. You can get with this. Or you can get with that. You can get with this. Or you can get with that.
get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. I think you get with this. Cause this is where it's at. Oh, this is going to be good. It's the Dwayne Wade, this or that edition. <laughs> First up, Jalen, Dwayne yes. Wade or Isaiah Thomas? You mean Isaiah Thomas on the Detroit Pistons? Yes. Bad boys, Isaiah Thomas? Yes, back to back one. championships? That one. In the era of Bird and the Celtics, Magic and Showtime, and Jordan? Come on now. Isaiah Thomas. Put some respect on that's, Zeke name. Ah, that's a tough one. I'm one of the top 50 I'm, players of all time? I'm going to give D Wade this one, though. D Wade got three chips. He was the best. He was the MVP in one of them. Third best two guard all time. Chauncey's not going to like it. Two that. of the greatest players ever from Chicago, both rising up the ranks. Wade was so much more athletic and dominant, and that's why in three championships. Wow. But it's close. Yeah, it is. Well, it's the youth. It's the youth. Well, he won two of those championships with the best player in the league, LeBron James. <laughs> the bad boys had some good guys. They, that's Joe that's also. Uh, next up, Dwayne Wade or Allen Iverson? See, this is not fair to AI. <laughs> this is not fair to AI. Why not? Because Dwayne Wade's gonna get the nod, and we're gonna talk about what he accomplished. But I would think AI could have probably did a similar version of that had he had Pat Riley as his general manager for his entire career. Okay. T Mac lit me up with this today, saying when I was thinking I was leaving Wade, and he said I Iverson didn't have teammates. Iverson was an MVP. Iverson changed the game with the crossover. Iverson took over the league. When Michael left, Fair. so I had to go. Wow, he, uh, an argument he that actually me changed into, the mind. He talked me into. I don't think yeah, I've ever heard. I of went with thing. Iverson. You did, old school. Yeah, okay. I mean, like he said, he didn't have the same teammates Dwayne had. I mean, he completely changed the culture of the whole NBA. The way people dress, the braids, the tattoo is now it's cool now. Oh. Uh, now before everybody looked at it as being different and not that wasn't the thing to do but oh right. no doubt hey i had to crawl for these youngins yeah. to walk no i'm, I'm actually it. glad you mentioned the braids because it the next one is wade with braids wade without braids oh without <laughs> Oh, Wade with Braves has been balling. Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? But Wade with Braves ain't loves, in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Paul loves Wade with Braves is balling. Back I'm, in the I'm great. Met Gabrielle before Braves. <laughs> right. Yeah. Back Fair. in the great Celtics Heat battle days, no Braves. No Braves. Okay. Oh, you're also. Oh, man. I don't know. Paul has. Put, put you hated him at first. Out and now you love him. That's been an interesting turn. Yeah, All right. Better Marquette alum. Wade versus. Doc Rivers plus Jimmy Butler. Oh, that's easy. Doc was a bomb. I'm <laughs> taking way, way to, way to Euro through Jimmy Butler and Doc Rivers. Come on, Doc, Doc was a bum. I'm going <laughs> D-Wade. Fair enough. Which one of them got Marquette to the Final Four? Doc. D-Wade. D-Wade, dog. I like what Doc's teammate have changed what we see as far as the outfit. Yeah, you don't even see the Doc fashion. at Marquette. You don't even see Doc at Marquette. You D-Wade didn't, didn't average a triple-double. You didn't even know he went one minute. J For what one if minute. Jimmy Butler went to Milwaukee next year? Okay, we're not, no, not, we have plenty of time. Uh, peak Heat Big 3 or Celtics Big uh -oh. 3? Uh-oh. Easy. This is we was easy. If we was all in our easy. prime versus them and their prime. Oh, here we go. They would, they, they would sit on no championships <laughs> right now. If we was in our prime, you had the 33-year-old Paul, 35-year-old. Is that your prime? Yeah, we were in your prime. Yeah, like no, he wasn't in our prime. I mean, if Will Chamberlain was in his prime. He was in mid-30s. They prime. was 26, 27. If we all were the same age. That I feel like that's not the chance. argument, though. We pushed them to seven We pushed them to seven games. Right. I'm 35 this? years How old. About this? How about this? Wade won a championship in Miami without LeBron. LeBron that's won Shaq. One. LeBron won one in Cleveland without Wade. And still, they won a couple together. Y'all got one. We got injured they after the first year. Each other. Oh, they KG, did play each other. This half a season. Then the next year, we lost Perk in the finals. We, you got to be good and lucky. Come on. Well, it's healthy. We'll be sitting on three chips. You know who the best person to ask? Ask Ray Allen what he thinks. I, oh. think I think Dwayne Wade was good and lucky, though, because you guys played against each other. Uh, head to head, you had the edge a little bit. Regular season, 22 and 11. But... <laughs> Hold me back! <laughs> Hold me back! Your teams were 9 and 13 against his in the post. Let's take a little sip of syrup, shall we? Oh, uh, if we don't keep it real... The dirty... 
I could probably get a layup versus the Lakers right now. Whoa. Oh, I had them broad shoulders. That's why I could just put the shoulder in you. DeMar reminds me a lot of myself. You see all these kids doing a step back is because I pioneered. Oh, my. So you created the step back? No, I just made it famous. All right. All right. Tale of the tape. Both NBA Finals MVP. You have him in career points. He's got more playoff points. You are a more clutch shooter overall. He's got more playoff points. Paul, riddle me this. Who's the better NBA player? That's easy. I can say that off the bat. That's me. <laughs> if you give me Shaq, if you give me LeBron, they did. They call the big three. <laughs> yeah, I, we got that late. But like early in my career. If I you, mean, what are you if doing? If you right give now? me these guys early in my career. What, well, let me was, ask you this. What would have been a perfect time for you, Paul? Let's make sure we get this right. I was 24 years old. Okay. You give me Shaq. When I'm 24, 25, you give me LeBron and Bosh. I'd be sitting on five or six championships. Easy. So then right. who has the better but, NBA but career? I played, you know, uh, I played 10 years you know, with who? You know what? With who? Antoine Walker. But here's the thing. Come on, man. Antoine you know was an all-star. I, I knew you were going to do this, so I you got some it. video for Come you. On. Let me see. You know, I knew you were going to do this. That's oh, why I wasn't oh. even oh, trying to answer. That was a, Hello. That's you a know, screen right there. I'm going to give you some video so you can see. I got thrown out for that. Paul didn't do anything yeah. wrong. I saw it. Look, I said a screen. I'm going to give you some love, P. See that? Jalen, that was nice of you. Jays and Bosh over there. You got thrown out of playoff games. See, I had to have the my guys roll. back, you know? Look at that. Look at that. Get thrown Ooh, out. Ooh, you must have been fun to be around that come night. Come on, now. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Those Give were some, some of the prime Shaq. Some of the great series of I could never remember covering. Dwayne Wade oh, didn't get prime Shaq. Kobe did. Yeah, why? Yeah. But Shaq still or has Gary something in the tank. That's why they won, because he still has something in the tank. Yeah. You act Dwayne like Wade, the number one shot blocker amongst all guards in NBA history. So that's how to be a factor. Uh, shot blocking on. How about their final couple oh. of years? You had some lost tape years, like in the Clippers. <laughs> oh, he's like got Dwayne it. He don't, wait, no, he right doesn't now. acknowledge played, those played years. Who? Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he's not part of it. Uh, I was in the house. That was like me and Phoenix. I came home. I came home. Never changed. I was coaching. Uh, tonight, <laughs> following our last game.